I've started a new scratch project so I can create that ballroom and create the dancers. And the first thing we need to do is to delete Oscar here. We'll delete him. We don't need that. And we're going to make a new uh, backdrop. So what we do is we'll click on the stage here and click on the backdrop tab. And we're going to make our ballroom background. And you can make it as simple as you like. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose uh, a fill color for the flooring of my ballroom. Let's make it a little bit darker. That'll do. And I'm going to choose a fill color or line color for my the outside lines of the floorboards. So I'm just going to scroll across here and find something that's a bit darker than the wood, a bit like a shadow. Let's just pull this back a little bit. That'll probably do. And I probably want to make it just two pixels. And I'm going to use the square to do this. And I'm just going to draw a plank that's as wide as the room. Just click off that. I probably want to make my border a little bit darker. So let's just make it a little bit darker. There we go. So I've got some delineation there. I'm going to copy that. Put them together. And I just need to make sure they're the right, they're the width of the room. A little bit wider. So let's delete that one. That's that's enough for the room. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this. Make sure they're touching. Yep. And I tend to do about three in a row. And what I can do is just fiddle about. That'll do, yes. I mean, you could even do things like this if you wanted to. You could, um, in fact, why don't we do that? Let's make it look like there are planks in this ballroom. Let's just So all I've made is one plank and I'm just going to drag them around. Let's put one here. And just put one here. And we'll do the same over here. So we looks like we've got planks there that looks like we've got some planks going on there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select them all no, everything's not been selected make sure that every all the blue lines are being selected there we go and I'm going to group those now they're grouped I can copy and paste them and I can move them around a little bit so everything's not too repeatable. It's looking pretty good. And then I'm going to copy that again. And I'll group those. And then what you can do is you can start doing things like flip vertical. So the patterns. Don't all line up. Just move it up a bit more. And we'll do one more. We'll put this one down here. And so there is our ballroom. So that looks like a floor that we can dance on. And what you can also do is you can add a border or a boundary around the outside of your ballroom if you wanted to. And um, what I've done is made some tiles. So let's make a white tile with a black border. Copy that. Now make that with a black fill. And just do the same repeat function as um, 
I did before to complete the room and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. So what you can see I did here is I grouped my black and my white square together and then I copied them and then flipped them around to make a little black and white square. I grouped them together into groups of threes and I've been copying and pasting this block around my ballroom. So I simply just go uh, copy and copy this. Oops. And drag it in and just line it up here to make sure the pattern is going all the way around my room. So these look like tiles on the edge of the wood. And I'm just gonna keep going until I complete my room. Nearly there, probably one more block to do. Uh, it's not gonna quite line up, so we'll have to fiddle about. So it doesn't quite match here. We've got some space, so all I'm gonna have to do is Command B on here and I'm gonna to have to ungroup this. There we go. So now I've got an individual square, I want a white one. Um, it's not gonna match up, so there's a break in my pattern, which is a shame, but there we are. And there is my ballroom completed. There we are, and my ballroom is now complete. So now I can come back to my code, there's my background on the stage, and it's now time for us to create our dancers.